the truth of God into a lie. Why they promise you liberty, they themselves are in body to their own self. Take, for example, the striking similarity to the language of the IRS when it was targeting people in the Tea Party investigation. They called them extremists and sick-minded and uh, an enemy of the state. Preacher, what are you trying to tell us? I'm trying to tell you people that we're in the end of America. We're in the end of Babylon. The Bible very clearly defines the end of this society as we know it. We've been talking to you for a long time about the collapse of the economy. And little by little, our nation, I was walking through a store the other day, and I looked at the prices that people are paying for just... In fact, I saw a woman today carrying a bundle of wood that she bought in a store. She paid $5 for just a little bundle of wood. <laughs> you wonder what's wrong with you people. Oh, well, you're paying these things and the economy's going to the dogs and the dogs are eating the bone. Listen to this one. Retail apocalypse. What kind of word is that? Apocalypse? Massive destruction? Retail apocalypse. Major change. Talking about not only here in America, but around the world. Major uh, uh, chains are closing hundreds of stores. Hundreds of them now. As I drive around the world, world uh, from time to time, it's losing its economic basis. The stores are closing. The factories are shut down. The uh, construction has ceased. Hundreds of stores across the nation are closing as some of America's most famous retailers struggle to stay in business. The country is facing what has labeled a tsunami of store closings and called a retail apocalypse. Stores like Sears, Kmart. Hear about those? Sears, Kmart, Kmart. Boy, have they taken a downsiding. Best Buy, J.C. Petty. These are among the big names in America retail that could disappear. They are disappearing now, very quickly. If or when these chains collapse, thousands of jobs and hundreds of millions of dollars in sales tax revenue will disappear, adding to our collapsing economy even more. Major retailers are, po are poised to close. 300 stores in the United States this year, and that is only the beginning. Shoppers will likely see an average decrease of overall retail footage space, and the things that they do buy is going to cost maybe three or four times more than it was just a year ago. J.C. Penney, this gigantic department store, lost 500 and 86 million. Now, you know what I mean by that. That means for their potential profits, they lost them. They're losing their profit edge. Therefore, it's no profit to keep the J.C. Penney stores going. They're going to lay off 19, 19 states. They're going to close, or already closing 33 stores, and 2,000 people losing their jobs. J.C. Penney stock has lost 84% of its value just since February of last year. And Sears, how about Sears? Sears has decided to shut down its flagship store in downtown Chicago. It has closed 300 stores in the United States. And the analysts noted that Sears' inventory levels have fallen by 23.7%. Sears had lost $4.4 billion in cash, $609 million in cash and equivalents, and going on and on as they're losing their profit market, so it will be no more profitable for the power structure to function with Sears because they're losing their money or their profits, so therefore they'll shut it down and the little man will pay the price. Macy's, one of the few retail 
success stores, plans to close five stores and eliminate 2,500 jobs. Radio Shack prepared to close 500 stores. Best Buy recently closed 50 stores and eliminated 950 jobs at stores in Canada. Target plans to eliminate 475 jobs and not feel 700 empty positions already just to reduce costs. Blockbuster has closed down all of its stores. So what's causing this retail apocalypse? Many people have tried to analyze it. They say people can buy things online, they don't have to go outside their house to get everything delivered to themselves. And so the retail market and the stores is just going bingo. Well, that could be a part of it. That's why you're going to see you need to take more control of either that source of buying. Another popular theory is the number of middle class people who make up the majority of these stores, store customers, is falling. As a retailer or restaurant chain, if you're not at the really high level or the low level, that's a tough place. Babylon is going to fall in one hour. All these great rich enterprises is going to bottom out, say up the board. Brother Stare at last time. My email address, last time at overcomeministry.org. Hello, Brother Stare. I'm relatively new to shortwave broadcasting. I started out about a year ago. I heard you about four months ago for the first time. For the past three months, I listened to you daily from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And then for assorted times, throughout the evening. I know that there are a lot of preachers out there, be it on the television, internet, or shortwave radio, but I can say that you definitely are the last day prophet of God. 